Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this What Is Wednesday, which is a show we do once a week to talk about one specific concept library or idea in web development, break it down into really simple language. Well, in this What Is Wednesday, we're going to be talking about Fastify at fastify.io. That's F A S T E I F Y.io. Fastify is a Node.js. HTTP web framework. It allows you to quickly get up and running with a server if you want to host your API, your website, or just about anything. Now, an analogous library to this would be something like Express.js. So the biggest question that comes along with Fastify is why use Fastify over Express if Express is, I would say, much more popular. However, Fastify is by no means unpopular as a newish library. It has 20,000 stars on GitHub. It is used by a whole ton of great organizations. And the more people use it, the more they find out that it is all of these things that their core features suggest and more. For instance, it's highly performant. I'll show you some benchmarks on their own uh, Fastify's own site. But from personal experience, uh, uh, I found these to be reliable. Um, it is very extendable, of which we'll talk about. The logging is very good. Um, there's a lot of just really fantastic things about Fastify. It plays really well with TypeScript. It's developer friendly. And, and the, really the biggest thing is just that Fastify is fast. It's fast and easy. So it's easy to get up and running with a basic server. A basic server would look something like this, as you can see here, Fastify, Git, an empty string or a forward slash, and then just return a uh, some JSON here, and this would return that as JSON. Now, this isn't going to be a Fastify tutorial, but it is going to be just a little explanation about what and why. So I'm not going to get into too much of this in too depth, but you do have the ability to do a lot of great things with Fastify. And also, as somebody who really requires excellent TypeScript support in my workflow in 2021, um, Fastify definitely has succeeded in that and more. So they call it a web framework. I pretty much use it for hosting our API, but you can use it, like I said, to host just about anything you want. There is a huge amount of uh, collaborators and contributors and just like really, really, really great people involved in this project. And so let's get into these benchmarks just really quickly. Again, I kind of caution you to just blindly trust benchmarks that are on a website of the company that's or project, I should say, that is promoting these benchmarks. But if we look at something like this, you can see Fastify has uh, 34,000 requests per second, where Koa is getting 27, and Express is way down here at um, just just absolutely getting destroyed by Fastify in their own benchmarks. Now, like I said, in my personal experience, I haven't rerun these exact tests, but they do make all the code available to test. In my experience, Fastify has been faster, but it's also just been easy to work in, which is one of the reasons why I liked it so much. And Fastify really feels like it is the fastest of these backend frameworks for Node.js. But not only that, it's very easy. So when you, when you see data like this presented, then you can check it out and you see that Express performs so much worse, you might be wondering, well, why do people choose Express? And largely it's because Fastify just doesn't have the community that Express does at this point. It hasn't existed as long as Express has. But again, Fastify to me has just been a fantastic experience. Okay, and it does sound like I'm glowing a lot about Fastify. I tend to talk about libraries that I like and use, but um, this is not like a paid spot. They have absolutely no thoughts on my um, my my um, me talking about uh, on Fastify here. So this isn't like a paid product promotion or something like that. Uh, another neat thing about Fastify is the plugin in the ecosystem around it. There's 45 core plugins and 154 community plugins. We use a lot of these ourselves, whether it is for um, we use Fastify Cookie, we use Fastify Cores. Um, and we use a handful of these in our own workflow, but there's a ton of really neat options. And actually one of my favorite of these is, um, I always spell it incorrectly, Mercurius, this one, M-E-R-C-U-R-I-U-S. It's a fully featured and performant GraphQL server. In fact, maybe I'll have to do one of these What Is Wednesday videos on Mercurius, because this is what we use to host our API. 
Now, another cool thing is that out of the box, Express, the latest version is at uh, 219K G-Zipped and Fastify 105. So it's faster, it's smaller, the community's great. Um, me personally, I'm, I'm gonna be using Fastify for everything that I need like this for now on. In fact, you can even see this is the Level Up Tutorials Fastify server right here. And it's really pretty basic. We have some options passed in. We create our app with some options. We register our cores settings. We register our Fastify cookie plugin. Then we use this Fastify form body, which is kind of like um, ex what Express has. Then we have our Mercurius set up so that our GraphQL API exists. But then we just basically down here, we start the server. App, listen, go to the server. Um, this is some tricky code here, but we're basically just starting the server. It's pretty neat. So this is Fastify JS. It's a HTTP server. It's a web framework for Node.js and allows you to do a whole ton of things uh, to have a website up and running, whether that is an API or any sort of web service up and running through Node.js. And again, it's very fast. Head on over to GitHub, give it a star, give it a try. Again, um, we don't have any tutorials on this. Maybe we will in the future. But again, just check out this code. Very, very simple here. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you're interested in learning about all sorts of cool things about the web, head on over to leveluptutorials.com. We have a new tutorial series ev available every single month with the latest courses actually came from uh, Colby Fayok and it's on Next.js and e-commerce, e-commerce on the Jamstack. However, we have a course that is coming out tomorrow uh, at the time of recording this. So by the time you're watching this, it'll already be here and that's web components for beginners. So are you interested in learning about web components? Check it out at leveluptutorials.com along with other courses that we have like Svelte Kit, Svelte Components, Modern CSS Design Systems, Level 2, Node Auth, Node Fundamentals, Authentication, and more, including Code Automation with GitHub featuring Brian Douglas. So check out all these courses and more, a new course every single month, leveluptutorials.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next Wednesday.